Hello, my name is Shelly and today we're doing the first tag of the year. It doesn't happen very often, but it does happen. I've actually been tagged to do this tag. Oh, what? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm not just doing a tag for doing a tag. Because, <laughs> you know, I do that, apparently. It's my new thing. It's definitely going to be a new thing for this year, so, <laughs> you know. So, I've been tagged by Bookwormies to do the 20 questions book tag. <laughs> Uh, so, that's what I'm gonna do. I don't think we're ready for this, are we? Nah. So, first question. How many books are too many for a series? It's a hard... <laughs> I mean, I don't feel like I have a set amount of numbers for a series. It, it, I feel like it depends on the series. Uh, there are some series that could go on for like forever and there are some series you're like why hasn't this one ended yet? Uh, it definitely depends on what the series subject is about I guess. If there's like a special challenge to <laughs> Um, so it's a hard one to actually name a number. Uh, I mean, I will read any length kind of a series. I mean, when, when it comes up to like 30 books, then you're like, <laughs> yeah, I don't think I'm going to start that one. Uh, but, you know, it depends on how thick they are as well. Uh, so I guess my answer for this is I don't know. <laughs> Um, I, I honestly don't mind either way, as long as the series doesn't have like loads of filler pages, then I'm good. Uh, I just want, you know, I want every book basically to have like the information it's supposed to have and not a bunch of extra stuff that you don't even care about or doesn't have really anything to do with the, the story at hand, so yeah. I'm good with any number, I guess. <laughs> Question number two. How do you feel about cliffhangers? Well, <laughs> I like them and I hate them. Uh, I hate them when i am done this stupid thing and started reading a series that hasn't been completed yet and so I have to wait like a year or two or three or however many years I have to wait for the next installment of that series uh, but a good cliffhanger keeps you hanging and wanting more so yeah I like them and I hate them. Question number three hardcover or paperback? I mean, I kind of like both. Um, I mean, I do like the the look of a good hardcover because, you know, it looks sturdy. It looks like it's going to be, it's going to take a lot of punches. I don't know. But uh, reading a hardback can sometimes be difficult because if you're lying down and you're keeping it above your head uh, and it's a thick one that damn thing is gonna be heavy uh, so when it falls on your face you're gonna be in pain <laughs> not that you cannot get in be in pain after having dropped a paperback on your face uh, but it hurts less also paper bags are usually quite a lot easier to like hold in your hand um, in like with one hand so and they are cheaper but I like them both they, they have different aspects of goodness but I would like to have hardbacks be a lot cheaper than they are uh, I mean books in general could just be a lot cheaper let's be honest with with ourselves question number four favorite book Ooh. Um, I don't think I could actually name one. I'm not even sure I can name a couple. Um, so, from the top of my head, I'll name 
whatever comes to mind. So, uh, a book or a series really uh, by Amy Plum, The Revenants Die For Me series. Um, that doesn't get as much attention as I think it should. It's a lovely series. I urge anyone and everyone to read it. Uh, it's an easy read. There's like zombies, but they're not really zombies, but they're kind of zombies. There's a battle, maybe more battles than <laughs> the one. Yeah, I do. It's it's not a heavy series, but you have like this girl. Yes, she's a good main character, honestly. Yeah. She, she's, she's good. <laughs> what are we even going about? Okay, so, another series that I do also really love is Vampire Academy by R Rochelle Mead. And I think those are the ones I come to mind. I mean, I could sit here all day naming books. And since my books are like this, it's a lot harder for my brain to think. <laughs> And I'm not going to go on Goodreads and see what books I have because that will take forever. Question number five, least favourite book. So, yeah, I've been mentioning these a lot for like the last month or so. Uh, but Cloud Atlas and also A Monster Calls. Um, there are definitely more books that I don't really like. Uh, but those are like front and center at the current moment in time so I'm gonna mention those and let's try not to mention them ever again let's find some new least favorite books maybe not <laughs> question and number six love triangles yes or no I mean I don't mind them I just want them to be done well but if they're not done well, then no. But, yeah, go for it. Give me some juicy triangle action. What was that? No, scrap that. But I mean, yeah, bring it on. If it's good, if it's bad, you can go. <clears throat> Question number seven. The most recent book you couldn't finish um, so this might be hard to answer, uh, because I don't DNF books, <laughs> uh, so I cannot answer this. I mean, I have books that I'm currently reading, uh, and I know I haven't picked them up in a little while because I've been a little busy and haven't read a lot, uh, but I, I will be finishing them, so, uh, yeah, I... I couldn't say, <laughs> since I don't actually DNF books. Question number eight, a book you're currently reading. <laughs> well, this tag is just putting me to shame. Uh, so, books I'm currently reading would be Jurassic Park and uh, The Name of the Wind. <clears throat> Yeah, th those are kind of, The Name of the Wind was our November book club pick and uh, Jurassic Park uh, is our December pick uh, of 2020 and now it's January 2022. So, yeah. Don't shame me. Or do. I don't care. Question number nine, last book you recommended to someone? Well, I mean, I kind of just recommended Vampire Academy and Die For Me, so... Them? Um, other than what I've just said in this tag, I'm not sure. I don't know. Question number 10. Oldest book you've read by publication date? Well, let's go on Goodreads, shall we? Well, this is taking a while. Read. Jeez. Okay. Uh, sort by... 
publication year. Can I do a specific date? No. Okay. Publication year. Okay. Well, that doesn't seem right. Um, it's telling me uh, that, like, it's telling me the oldest book I've read uh, was published. No. In 2014. Um, that's not right. Hmm. Publication year of a page of red can't own. I mean, I want to have publication year. I don't want to have date red. If I put date red, will I get the publication year? Because this app seems to be broken. No, I am getting actual date red now. 2016. Well. Okay, let's go on the... Let's go on the laptop. Let's go on the computer and see. My books. Okay, shelf states. Settings. Visible columns. Mm. Date published. Okay, let's let's see. Close. The oldest book I've read. Oh, these non-dated books are great. Well, I know those are quite recently. Okay. The oldest book I've read seems to be Gulliver's Travels by Jonathan Swift because uh, it was apparently published on October 28th and 1726. So there you go. Question number 11, a newest book you've read by publication date. So it's a good thing we're still on this Goodreads page and then we're just gonna go other way around, date published. Okay, so the newest book I seem to have read is The Woods Are Always Watching by Stephanie Perkins and it was published on 31st of August in 2021. So, okay. <laughs> there you go. Whoop. Oopsie. I'll be back. Ah, uh, la, 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 la. Question number 12, favorite author. So, I have a few. So let's try to remember them all from the top of my head, shall we? So we have Amy Plum, um, Rochelle Mead, Lindsay Kelk, Paige Toon, Giovanna Fletcher, Lucy Vine, Dorothy Cumson, Pierce Brown is looking good currently. What more? Damn it, I can't look at my books because ah, 
they no help. Okay, without going on Goodreads again, <laughs> um, I guess those are a few of my favourite authors. I'm sure I'll be mentioning them and other authors at other times. <laughs> um, yeah. Question number 13. Buying books or borrowing books? I am buying books. Well, for one, um, if I go to the library, I will forget to return that book. And also, I will feel stressed about having to read that book before I have to return that book. And also, I do like having books uh, on my shelves. Uh, not particularly in this way, but this is the current way. It's going to be sorted later. Um, I do like having the books I've read on my shelf and being able to see all your read books and feeling that accomplishment because it's definitely an accomplishment having read all the books. Question number 14. A book you dislike that everyone seems to love. <laughs> um, well, at the time Cloud Atlas came out, everyone seemed to love that one. I don't get it. I do not get it. And Still, whenever someone mentioned it, uh, a monster calls, they seem to love that one as well. I don't get that one either. I found it very depressing and not good. So, yeah, <laughs> I'm sure there are many, many more. Question number 15, bookmarks or dog ears? With my own books, a thousand times bookmarks. If you dog ear my book, I will hunt you down. Uh, <laughs> but I have dog eared books in the past. Uh, the books being school books. Yeah, I don't care about those, do I? I did keep my school books very pristine, uh, but I did on occasion dog ear some of them so yeah but my own books I no 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 way no how no question number 16 a book you can always reread uh a few uh there are definitely a few books or series that I uh reread and have reread quite a few times um so vampire academy Die For Me, Harry Potter I've definitely read a good few times. Damn, why do I keep looking around? I can't see the damn books. Damn it. Can't think of any other books. Uh, but I, I really like rereading books and I do tend to do it quite a few times. So yeah, that's also a good reason to keep my books. Question number 17. Can you read while listening to music? Uh, I can. Uh, I prefer not to though. Uh, I mean I can read uh, while other people are having arguments or watching TV or whatever. Uh, I do prefer to like read in silence or like put on the little fireplace thing on one of my screens and have that in the background but I mean I can I prefer not to have sounds um so yeah question number 18 one POV or multiple so it's no secret that I struggle with multiple POVs and the only time I mean I do enjoy them don't get me wrong, but when it's like a heavy fantasy book and it's like so many different characters and they're like not only different personality types, but they are like different creatures, sort of, so to say. Um, and they are in many different places and it's not an illogical place, it's a fantasy place. Uh, I do struggle a lot. Uh, with like keeping track of them all until they like meet up and I get a bigger sense of the picture uh, but I mean if it's done right multiple all the way but the same goes with like one p point of view if it's done well 
I'm good with either one, honestly. Uh, it, the, the thing with multiple point of views is that you can get multiple point of views, so you can get different, um, you can get a lot more of the story than just straight on one person. You get just that one person. So, I mean, yeah, do it well. It's basically all I demand of a book and point of views. <laughs> Question number 19. Do you read a book in one sitting or over multiple days? This definitely depends on the book. Uh, if it's a short one and I have a lot of time, I will probably just read it in one sitting. Um, if it's a longer one and maybe don't have a lot of time, it will probably take a couple of more days or whatever long, a day or two maybe, I don't know. Um, I tend to read like, I think in, I think on average I read a book every two to three days, so I mean, it definitely depends on what book it is, how big it is, and how much time I have. But if I could just sit and read all the time, I would do that. I would read so many books, but... And question number 20 is to tag people. So, you know, I will tag you all. <laughs> um, I am going to tag... Nina from Wrestling With Books or Wrestling With Disney because she has two channels and I urge you to check out both of her channels. Yes. I think I'm just going to tag Nina today. There will be more tags. But yeah, uh, if you do this tag or have done this tag, please let me know and, you know, I will come watch. Because yes, I do do that. I do. I watch so much YouTube, YouTube hates me. Yeah, it wants me to tell them that I'm not a robot. That's how much YouTube I watch. Maybe I should read more books than watch all this YouTube. Nah. Gotta support all, this, all the creators out there. Yeah, 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 yeah. I clearly lost my marbles. So let's just end it here, shall we? Thank you so much for watching. Uh, do all the things like comment, subscribe, because this crazy face will be back very shortly with a new video. I'm trying to be on schedule, I guess. I don't know what I'm saying anymore. Okay, so until next time, take care. Oh, bye bye.